Welcome, I'm Anthony Hudson, and what a match we have today between Collingwood and St Kilda. I welcome Gary Lyon with me as we prepare for this big game. I had out today should be a great match. Hitting the turf today will be Collingwood and St Kilda. St Kilda players run out onto the field. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. St Kilda defence has a big job today. If they can stop the opposition forwards from getting a few chances early, it goes a long way to winning this game. for a big performance today. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Yes, hello. The captains make their way to the middle for the toss. Collingwood winning the toss. Neither of these sides are currently inside the eight, but still plenty to play for here today. The fans of both sides are waiting this one. We kick things off. The opening bounce. Punched away. Hannah Brick has the ball. Hands that ball to the opposition. Great attack on the ball carrier. Dugowicz scoops it up. The umpire calls for it. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Pendlebury throws the ball away. Moved on by Abbott. Takes a nice mark. Robertson kicks it. Geary wins the ball in the air. Goes by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Stands tall and marks. Dunstan will kick from beyond the 50. Great mark in the pack. 30 metres out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Goes through for a behind. More to kick it in. Plays on from the kick in. Gets it away under pressure. Quickly onto the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. Decides to kick. A chance to reload the attack now. The kick from Roughhead. Ross doesn't take the mark. The ball spills free. Beams moves it now. Wants to keep it moving. Packing it out of there. Dropped the mark he should have taken. Picked off the deck. The tackle over the shoulder. Slams it on the boot. He gives chase to the footy. Gets the loose ball. Well picked up. Unable to create the space. Fantastic tackle. Doing well to intercept that kick. Grundy puts it on the boot. Geary looking to track down the footy. Carlisle receives the ball. Strong mark in the contest. Uses it by foot. A race for the loose ball. They can create from this. Collingwood will be on top if this goes through. He takes the mark. Elliott with a chance if he can keep his cool. Ten metres out. The drop pipe goes straight between the big sticks. Celebrating hard. The first goal going to Collingwood. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal.
Umpire ready to resume play. Hammers it. He has the ball. Sinclair marks it. He drives it. Winning the ball in the air was Carlisle. Gets some distance on the kick. Webster did well to win that ball. Uses it now. Good mark there. Trelaw gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. He takes aim. And the chance at goal is taken by Collingwood. He's enjoying that goal. Now they lead by 11. Back in the middle. Clears the contest. Fighting hard was Ross. Hunted him down beautifully and wins the free. Grundy gets right in his face. Fantastic pressure there. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Rough edge spills it. A great defensive effort. Ross doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Puts boot to ball. Chris leading the race to the loose ball. Gains some territory. Dugowie sticks the tackle. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Butler takes the mark. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Loney going for number one. The drop part sails between the big sticks. He's excited about that one. St Kilda behind by five. He did really well there and gets the reward. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. We're back in motion. Wins the ruck duel. Hannabury just goes bang. Applies a bump. Abbott just threw it. Beam drives the kick. Takes the mark all by himself. Howe goes with the kick. Taken well at ground level by Chris. Maynard with the mark. Maynard has resources out wide. Goes with the kick. A strong pack mark. Gresham collects the kick. Phillips has a great set of hands. Got boot to ball. Grundy applies the tackle. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Dugowie gets the loose ball. Ball up call. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. The loose ball scooped up. Beam gathers it now. Collingwood the leading by five as we go to the break. Collingwood could have to be happy with that first turn. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? St Kilda are struggling to maintain the pace of the game. They might need to slow it down and take some uncontested marks to get the game back on their terms. Thanks. The second term ready to get underway. About to resume hostilities. Thump clear with the ball now. It's a turnover. The loose ball picked up. Soccer's it forward. The ball spells the... Turned it over. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Grundy thumped it clear. Gathered by Steele. Movement by hand. Hanover with the ball. 
Doesn't hold on to the mark. Loney goes for territory. Off the ground, he's kicked the goal. His teammates rush over. They're in the lead now. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Back in the middle to resume play. Thumps it clear. Ends up with Pendlebury. Pendlebury just throws it. Abbott kicks it. A chance to gather the ball. Carlo looks hurt. That doesn't look good. I don't think he'll be coming back. Cox misses it off. Marshall going for number one. St Kilda by two points. Moore ready to bring it back into play. Moore throws the ball away. Butler likes his chances from there. He acknowledges the crowd. The margin is eight. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Picks it up. Manages to get a hand to it. Hanover gains some territory. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Rough end with a big fist on it. Jones goes off the ground. Seen plenty of it. That one rams into the post. St Kilda lead by nine. Looking to bring it back into play. Finds a target. 35 metres out. He might kick a goal. A disappointing kick. The lead is now 10. Moore deciding where to go with the kick here. Chose to kick it. Drops the mark. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. Phillips heads onto the ground. Moved on by Gresham. And the ball trickles over the line. Ball tossed back in. Brown puts his body on the line. That goal is a cracker. Gets some reward for his efforts. St Kilda, 28. Lead Collingwood, 12. Ruffin thrashes it. Finds the loose ball. The handball now from Brown. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. His first possession. Just got the hands in the back there. Uses it now. Off hands from Robertson. A clean pick up. Looking to kick goal number two. He bangs it through. Elliott loves that goal. Collingwood reduced the margin. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. When the forwards are marking the ball so cleanly inside 50 like they are now, it must give St Kilda a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Hanover slams it onto the boot. Drop part straight through the middle. Gets his first. Congratulated by his teammates. St Kilda. Go to Collingwood by 16. Back with another centre bounce. Grundy just swaps it away. Barco does well to Mark. 60 metres out. Looks for a target inside 50. Marks now and can send it back. He drives it. Geary controlling the airwaves on this occasion. 
Looks up with the kick. Battle steals possession. Releases the handball. Beam throws the ball away. Chips it towards half forward. He gets above the crowd. St Kilda just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Beam coming off for a spell. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Grundy gets onto the ball. Just leaves them in his wake. Great goal. This kick has extended their lead. Sinclair couldn't be happier with that goal. Thrashes it. Takes possession. Looks like the ball will be coming back. St Kilda are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Adams turns a free kick. Cox with a low spearing kick. Side bottom marks uncontested. Picked up by Carlisle. He gets his hands on the footy. Elliott charges with intent. With the ball now. Has it now. Does well to cut off the kick. Langdon puts it on the boot. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. St Kilda are taking advantage of the Ruckman's ability. It's giving them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Howard with a penetrating handball. Hanavery is streaming past and gets the footy. A chance to put one through for his side. He slots this one. A big goal there. Puts through his third goal. Loney celebrating hard. The Saints have kicked the last three goals. Now they lead by 28. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. We resume hostilities. Big thump from Grundy. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. Hurried kick. Snaffled up by Battle. Battle. Just throw it. Puts it on the boot. Dunstan looks to get onto the football. Goes off the ground. Just offline for a minor score. St Kilda doing well at the moment. Moore searching for a teammate. Can't take possession. Gathers it now. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. He likes his chances from here. Butler going for number two. They are happy with that effort. Smiles all round. An intriguing first half as it stands. St Kilda, 53, play Collingwood, 18. St Kilda have controlled the play well and deserve this lead at halftime. What can you tell us from the stats, Gaz? St Kilda are allowing the opposition uncontested. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Won the hit out. Try to avoid everything out there. Doing well with the mark. Looks to move it by foot. Ball gets cut off. Grundy might have overworked himself there. Main decides to go it alone. That kick is missed. Unable to make any inroads there. Collingwood close the gap to 34. Searching for a teammate. Carlisle decides to go to himself. He puts it out of bounds on the full. He doesn't want to let his teammates down with this shot at goal. Might run around and open up the angle. Elliott will be praying he doesn't miss this chance. A low stabbing kick. Dugowie got up, but couldn't bring it down. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Dug it out. Billings was taken high in the tackle. Kicks it long. Savage determined to reach the ball. Off the deck. Drives it out of the pack. 
I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Great tackle. St Kilda supporters delighted by that effort. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Rough edge with a punch. Bounce works for steel. Beams looks in need of a spell. Gets it away. Does well to get it out. Thomas with a chance on the turnover. Missed the target. Scoops it up. Slams it onto the boot. May leaps over the top. Goes by foot. Open opportunity for Beams. Manufactures the handball. He's got the footy in his hands. Doing well to intercept that kick. Carlo kicks it out of defence. A strong mark in the pack from Ayacek. This kick to keep some hope alive. Narrowly misses there. Collingwood looking for some scoreboard respectability. Marshall looking to bring it back into play. Moves the ball by foot. Finds it in motion. St Kilda have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Good grab there from Phillips. Elects to kick. Sinclair had it, lost it. Battle just gets it onto the boot. Intercepts the ball well. Ruffhead runs after this one. Simply outplayed his opponent. Got boot to ball. A must kick goal here. Through for a rush behind. Ready to bring it back into play. Plays on. Marshall kicks it out of the back 50. Ends up turning this ball over. Trelaw sets his sights on the goals. Bit of an angle for this kick. Uses it by foot. The ball finds its way out of play. Savage coming onto the ground. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's just not enough effort out there at the minute. Rough edge clears the contest. Releases by hand. Keeps it moving. Marks now and can send it back. Langdon has resources out wide. Beam doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. Chose to kick it. Rough edge was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Punches the kick. Takes a simple grab. 30 metres out. Keep it on. Trelaw has a chance to put a second goal on the board. Look at them celebrate that effort. Margin in a really tricky situation. About to resume play. Ruffhead won the hit out. Sear collected the ball well. Phillips is blowing hard after that effort. Phillips was taken high in the tackle. Puts boot to ball. The contest, no match for him. I agree with you there, Hutto. 40 metres out. Pendlebury going for number one. A bad finish results from the behind. They'd want to make more of those opportunities. Collingwood behind by 31. Marshall players move as they look to provide an option. A good mark out of the circumstances. Robertson looking to rebound with this kick. Pendlebury rushes with the kick. Side bottom there to mop up. Can he put it through? He delivers with a drop pass. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. They get around him after that effort. The Magpies close the gap to 25. Swats it. Here's Pendlebury. A chance for battle. Linking by hand. Jones gets a quick kick away. Kicks hurriedly. Howard takes advantage. Fends off the tackler. Sinks the slipper into it. Terrific mark there. 
gets a touch to the ball. It bounces to the advantage of the opposition. Savage spent it before he earned it. With quick hands, the ball in the hands of Brown. Loney looking a bit sluggish out there. The ball rolls across the line. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. Ruffhead thumps it forward. He gains possession. Three-quarter time. St Kilda, 59, plays Collingwood, 34, a quarter of footy to go. St Kilda will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beyond doubt early and run away with a big win. Let's have a closer look at the stats. The Saints are on top in the turnovers. They don't allow the opposition easy possessions, and that's why they're on top. Cheers, Gaz. We have one quarter of footy ahead of us. Let's go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Just gets it onto the boot. Off hands. Punches are clear. Grundy goes off the ground. Dugowie soccers it forward. Using every ounce of energy he has left. He's got the football now. Is in his possession. Makes it somebody else's problem. Ball up in the centre square. Grundy with the hit. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. They can take the sting right out of the game here. Decides to kick. Just gave it away. Just manufactures what he could. Intercepted. Finds his man. Dug out by Dunstan. Carlo creates all sorts of problems for his opponents. Showing some really good pressure there. Langdon turns a free. Kick by Chris. Can't take the mark. Power goes by hand. Couldn't snaffle it. Dunstan, hurried kick. The kick from Jarenberg puts on a big hit. Butler collects the loose ball. Just put it on the boot. Out of bounds on the wing. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Webster has had plenty of it, Gaz. He's setting the example at the moment. Ball up close to the boundary. The Saints have gone on top in the clearances, but they're not hitting the scoreboard. If they can find a way to use their clearance ability better, they will find themselves in front. Brown couldn't hang on to the ball. Pendlebury picks up the loose ball. That tackle just too high. He goes for broke. The kick towards goal. Celebrating hard. That's three in a row for Collingwood. And suddenly, they find themselves with a chance. We'll have another ball up. Thrashes it. Sear kicks hurriedly. Contests the hard ball. Puts the handball out in front. Turned it over. Side bottom looking to put through another goal. Get some rewards for his efforts. That's four in a row for the Magpies. This game can still go either way. Thumps it clear. Just put it on the boot. Thomas gains possession. Side bottom uses it by foot. Use the hands and gives away the free. for the goals. What a goal! He's excited about that one. It's under two goals now. That's a really good team goal.
great bit of play that resulted in that goal. The game is back underway. Swats it. Wins the race to the ball. Up for grabs for Sia. And we'll get a ball up. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Grundy got a fist to it. Steel runs onto the field. Ball up in the centre square. St Kilda have been controlling stoppages and lead the clearances. If they can clean up their ball use after the clearance, they can give themselves a chance. How? Use the body to take that mark. Goes with the kick. Takes it well. Drives the kick hard. Uses the bump. Missed the target. Savage on the ball. Langdon gets the ball. Takes possession. Will get a ball up on the wing. Punched away. Ross. Interesting handball. Beam just throw it. Slams it on the boot. Geary gets in a good position. With a driving kick. Good body work to win the mark. 50 metres from home. Moves it by foot. It's a foot race to get this one. Now we'll get a ball up. Clears the contest. Gresham going for number one. That's something to smile about. Congratulated by his teammates. St Kilda. Fleet is now 13. Hammers it. Side bottom. Collects it. It's cut off by Phillips. Abbott takes a strong mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Collected by Howe. Scoops up the ball. Clears the danger for now. And the mark will be paid. Trelaw moves it now. Marks that ball uncontested. And the umpire says, my ball. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Thump by Grundy. Decides to soccer it. Maynard fires it up to the square. He has the ball. Receives the handball and takes off. Coughed up by Carlisle. Sinclair dug it out. He slams it towards goal. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Just under two goals, the difference now. We resume hostilities. Winning it was Grundy. St Kilda fans rejoice after a great performance here today. What were your thoughts on the match, Gas? Sometimes you're just happy to walk away with the four points. They weren't at their best, but they did what they had to do. Thank you, Gaz. St Kilda have claimed the match with a final score of 10 5 65 to 9 4 58. That's all the time we have for today. It's been a great day of football, and we'll see you again soon.